Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Set Play. I am Nika KO, and for today's video we are going to be going over the DED technique. So before defining the DED technique, what we have to understand is the mechanics behind the meter uh, for each character. In this particular case we're going to go over Ken Super Art 3. Uh, as you can see on the screen I have an overlay which shows his uh, Super Art 3 has 80 points of value uh, for one bar. Meaning at any point if the Ken player gets up to 80 points, anything above that will equal one super and they can commit to the super at that point. Uh, for this example we're going to use Ken's crouching forward, uh, which builds a certain amount of value. On whiff or parry it builds 2 points, on block it builds 6 points, and on hit it builds 11 points. Now the DED technique allows for hit confirming a normal into super based on the amount of meter the player has rather than actually confirming the super based on reaction. So this basically means that any time an opponent is playing a footsie game, the player might might try to confirm into super based on based on reaction. Whereas when you utilize the DED technique, you're not hit confirming based on reaction, you're hit confirming based on the amount of value that you have for your meter. With this in mind, you can see that the difference between the amount of meter you get on block versus the amount of meter on a hit makes all the difference when it comes to the DED technique and is actually the staple for why it's a popular technique to utilize uh, with certain characters. This gives the player the option to commit to a specific normal, and if that normal builds enough meter on hit, the super will come out. However, if the opponent blocks the normal, the super will not come out. Basically, this allows for the player to commit to a specific normal without any worry of the super leaking out. Now that we understand the game mechanics for the DED technique, what we have to understand now for our specific characters is that not all of them can actually commit to the DED technique. Although some of them may be able to based on the normals that they have and the supers that they utilize, some others may not be so fortunate. In one particular case, when it comes to Makoto, for example, she has a pretty strong super with Super 1. The issue here is that when you commit to the motion for Super 1, you have to do two quarter circle forwards into punch. Now what this does is that when it comes to doing the DED technique, you can confirm the super based on the meter that you have, however if the opponent blocks it, you're actually committing into Hayate, which is punishable. Now that we understand the game mechanics regarding DED technique, it's simply a matter of managing your meter and understanding how much value one normal gives uh, your character in order to commit to the super. So in an example like Ken's, you'll notice that when he uses his super, it's quarter circle forward with kick. In terms of specials, Ken has no special in his move list that will commit to anything else if it's blocked. So for example, Ken can commit to a low forward super and he won't have to worry about any special like a fireball or, or a tattoo or a shoryu coming out because none of, these, none of these specials are the same motion as a super. So it allows him to commit to the super at any point using low forward. Other characters may without not be any so hindrance. fortunate. In certain scenarios, 
there's Akuma and Ryu who have their fireballs that come out afterwards, which is semi-useful. However, in the case of high level, it's going to be red parried, or they can be punished on block. So it may not be recommended, but it can be used from time to time. In other cases, such as Remy, he actually has a pretty good usage for a DED, which is low strong into his into his super two. And you can see that when it comes to building a meter, that none of his specials will come out if he commits to it, unless it's a charge move. However, if he's holding down back and he's committing into low low strong into double quarter circle forward into kick, he may get a flash kick if the motion is not accurate. But in actuality, it's still beneficial to commit to the DD technique in that instance because you get much more of a payoff if you commit to it. And chances are, if you are walking forward, you're not going to retain that charge if you're holding down back in such a short amount of time. So as a summary for you guys, the DD technique is basically hit confirming based on the amount of meter that you have. Uh, it utilizes the game mechanics of meter building on whiff, hit, or block. And as mentioned, if the opponent parries your normal, it has the same value as as your normal if it was whiffed. So always make sure to keep that in mind when it comes to building your meter for the next DED usage. So obviously, as I said as well, there are some characters where this would be useful for, but try to keep in mind that there are some characters that it might be half and half in the event of uh, using the DED technique. So for example, Ryu and Akuma, it might be okay considering that they're throwing a fireball, but in certain cases they might get red parried or parried, so just be careful in the future when utilizing this technique in your future matches. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this coverage of the DED technique. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and be sure to leave a comment below on other things you would like me to cover on future videos. From everyone here at Setplay, I am Nikki Ko, and I will see you guys on the next video.